Hi everyone, it's Sherry Truler with Red Apple Auctions. Thanks for joining me today where we're going to be giving you another tip for your benefit auction and this one is specifically looking at procurement. I've titled this Watching Your Nonprofit Silent Auction Go Up in Smoke but in a positive way. And I am recording this because it's late January as I'm speaking with you. People are still very much in on track with their New Year's resolutions or trying to be. And smoking is one of those vices that many people have that they try to break. And so it just turned out that uh, something arrived in my mailbox today that made me think about this and how we can use this particular vice to help us make money in our charity auction. So with that, let's go ahead and move into this first slide here, which is a surprise to me. This showed up unexpected in my mailbox, Cigar Aficionado. It's, it's addressed out, it's made out to me. I don't know if someone made me, gave me a subscription as a joke or if something got screwed up in the database. But at any rate, I appear to be a subscriber now to Cigar Aficionado. And as I'm flipping through it, it did jog my memory that one of the top selling items that we have in many of our silent auctions is cigar related stuff. And you really have to get over it, unless you're per perhaps part of a spiritual community that does not uh, allow smoking or wants smoking paraphernalia on your uh, silent auction tables, cigars are hot. And so this is something that we can use to cater to our audience and get them to buy so we can raise more money for our charity. So let's focus in on cigars here and uh, really look at what we can offer to our crowd that's going to get them to pull out their wallet. First, in the magazine, it talks about the top 25. Actually, it's more than 25. I think they've got 100 of the top cigars in there uh, from last year. This is just the, the top 25 of them. But perhaps you could go talk to your local smoke shop and get some of these cigars, and you could have a nice collection there. That will sell really well at your benefit auction. Another option, activities related to cigars. I didn't realize this, but uh, apparently Cigar Aficionado puts on a couple of big cigar related shows, related activities. They call them the Big Smoke. So you've got the Big Smoke in Las Vegas that happens November 9th through the 11th in 2012, and then the Big Smoke New York, which is November 29th in, um, in New York on Pier 92. So both of those would be great opportunities for you to reach out, see if you can get a couple of tickets comped so that people could attend that. Build an activity around it. You can get more details on that over here is the website down here below. I've included the link to that. There's probably other activities as well. I just am not familiar with them and I'm just getting you started here. I know you'll figure out the rest of it. And then what about all of the paraphernalia, all the accoutrements that go with cigars? I know that we always have great luck when we're selling a humidor in our silent auction. Here's a picture of one. This was the first item to receive a bid at this particular silent auction. Um, a humidor, they packed packaged it with some alcohol as well. So uh, there's a thought too. Maybe it's a cigar cutter. Maybe it's a subscription to Cigar Aficionado magazine. Whatever the case, you've got people in your crowd that would enjoy purchasing this. Now, if you are looking for additional auction items here uh, for ideas, I've just released what sold like heaven in 2011. As you'll recall, every year I have an auction item guide. It includes the top 100 items that I sold for overvalue in auctions last year. This year, we're calling it What Sold Like Heaven in 2011. So you can go to redappleauctions.com and download that for free. I'm Sherry Truler with Red Apple Auctions. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, good luck to you in your benefit auction.